you're posting a, a half t-shirt and so. you're saying I'm bisexual. I like females and males. So now take us take us through that. Take what made you post that? Take us through that whole shit. ordeal, that whole situation. What made me post it? Cause like shit, mm, for real, for real. I was just saying how I feel for real. I like, want some real shit. I want some, you know. Don't get me wrong, I ain't out here sucking no dick and getting fucked in the ass and no shit like that. But you feel what I'm saying? I'll make a nigga my bitch. Like, you wanna be my bitch? I'll make a motherfucker my bitch quick. Like, I don't get no fuck. Like, I ain't out here looking at, looking at motherfuckers like, yeah, I want him, I want that. It's like, nah, I like, I got a certain type. I like, I like trans, transgender shit like that. I like, like feminine, cause I'm masculine, so. I'm a motherfucking king. I come from king's royalty. I like power. So shit, you know? And when did you accept that that's who you were? Did you been knowing like? No, nah, I just went around niggas like liking like, oh, I like him or no shit. I know that's a motherfucking thing. Like, he probably just was around motherfuckers like, yo, I like him. I want to. No, nah, I ain't know. I grew, up, I grew up around savages. I was raised by real savages like real men like so you know i ain't soft sweet none of that shit but yeah i just wanted to put that out to the real like yeah like shit so everybody welcome to come fuck with me if y'all like if y'all like me and you are you feel me you a feminine guy you a you know you a trans like shit it's whatever shit it's love i ain't throwing no shade it's all love i need i want all the love now a lot of people thought that this was a clout chase because you, you know, shortly after that, you deleted the pictures and and you no longer talked about it and stuff like that. It was just like people thought you were trying to get attention to make that like that big comeback in rap. Hey, I had clout my whole life, so I ain't never going to do no goofy shit for no clout. I had clout before I was even famous, so I always had a name for myself in Chicago. People know me. They know how I am. So... Like, motherfuckers who know me know. Like, they already know how I'm coming, so. Shalom. I would like to give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to our sincere Akim, pushing his word out across the four corners of the world. I have an article right here from hiphopvibe.com, and the title says Gucci Mane's former artist, Lila Wap, comes out of the closet and says it's film boy season. And this was published on March the 6th, 2023. And it says, Gucci Mane's former artist Lil Wap comes out of the closet. Lil Wap has flown under the radar since leaving 1017. A year ago, Lil Wap took to social media where he announced he was bisexual. In 2022, Lil Wap actually carried on a relationship with another man. Earlier this year, Lil Wap wound up back in a romantic relationship with a woman. Not only is Lil Wap now back with a man, he is also identifying as a film boy. And a film boy is defined as a biological male whose appearance and behavior traits or characteristics are regarded as feminine. So you have the so-called powers that be within the music industry, you know, these different music executives, and they set up these byproducts of nigga culture, which is a lifestyle of death, such as an example like this, Lil Wap, and they push them out to the masses as being influential, impactful, you know, something that's held high regarded. So the youth that's coming up looking at this, especially the children, by being impressionable, they would think mannerisms or conduct like this coming from a homo so-called thug rapper is acceptable. And as you heard from the beginning of this video, this so-called rapper, Lil Wap, how he was describing what he looked for in a man, you would think that he's describing what he would look for in a woman. Like just totally off. Which is why it's stated in Isaiah 1 and 4, a sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. And that's because they have forsaken the heavenly father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And this type of immorality is highly acceptable within America, which further proves this has to be Babylon the Great. And like we always go to in the spirit, how Babylon goes back to the Hebrew word Babal, which means confusion. And that's mainly because Yahweh Bashim Shai gave his vessel of dishonor, Esau Edom, who is coined as the God of this world, according to the scriptures, 
to be in that power seat of rulership and call the shots. They have everything in a disarray, which takes me right to the book of Job, the 10th chapter and the 21st verse. Before I go wits, I should not return even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. So the land of darkness is referring to America. Our forefather, King David, made that prayer in the book of Psalm, the 23rd chapter, the fourth verse, about though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And a valley refers to a low land. And on a spiritual level, look how this society is low in uprightness, morals, integrity, having a righteous standard. So before I go whence, I should not return even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. Verse 22, a land of darkness as darkness itself. And once you go into the word darkness, you know, of course, it goes into having little light or lacking in enlightenment or knowledge or culture. But it also goes into evil in nature or morally corruptness. And that sums up the standard within the confines of America. A land of darkness as darkness itself and of the shadow of death without any order. And besides the righteous and true prophets of Yahweh Bashim in these last days, as it says in Hosea 4 and 1, because there's no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh Bashim in the land. So therefore, this society will be without any order. And where the light is, as darkness. And that's because everything is turned upside down. Where you have indecency and perversion is highly elevated. And that type of left hand behavior has really seduced two thirds of our people especially you Israelite men. As it says right here in Job 10 and 22, where the light is as darkness. So a big portion of the so-called men of our nation has became spiritually dull by the left-hand vibration of America. Which takes me right to Lamentations, the fourth chapter in the first verse. How is the goal become dim? How is the most fine goal changed? And that goal is representing us Israelite men, the sons of Jacob. Yasha Allah, he is a prince of the power. So as a whole, we lost our shine, our radiance, our reputation and glory as being classified as the most highest chosen people. And that's pursuant to Jeremiah 17 and 4, how we were going to be discontinued from our heritage. But by the gift of the Holy Spirit within these last days, the hopeful elect men are coming back into that light, that luster, that radiance, that reputation as being the true sons of the living power. But two thirds of our people are still caught up in that spiritual darkness. So how is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold change? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. And that further proves Revelation 11 chapter and the eight verse about those dead bodies walking as degenerates in that street, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, referring to America. So right here it says, the stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. Verse 2, the precious sons of Zion, comparable to fire and gold, such as our great forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. You have King David, King Solomon. And it says, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? So those great, highly prestigious, honorable men. And look at the nation of our so-called men today. You have your Lil Wayne's, your Kodak Black's. And this so-called rapper at the beginning of this video, Lil Wap. So look how the work of the hands of the potter, referring to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, diminished us as a nation. And that's because we brought that holy covenant. And that takes me right to Jeremiah 5 and 23. But this people, referring to two thirds of our people, have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. So the word revolt goes into to resist or to be rebellious. And it also goes into sicken. And that leads up again with Isaiah, the first chapter. How it goes into, why will you be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. And that's mainly because the mass majority of our people within these last days are not abiding by that sound doctrine. So therefore, they are spiritually sick. Or jump down to verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. And a Jake like this at the beginning of this video, Lil Wap, he's not in that spirit of repenting, acknowledging his offense unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. 
And that's along with the rest of our people within that music industry or in that spotlight within Esau's Hollywood realm. And that's also because they look at America as the end all be all, that continuing city. So therefore they will say or do anything by all means to be accepted by the God of this world. That includes high level of wickedness, sinister conducts, left hand vibration. So that's why it says right here in verse 26, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set it snares, they set a trap, they catch men. Verse 27, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. And this also links with Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter, the 15th verse about Jeshurun wax fat, which is another identity for Israel. And that's because the mass majority of our people, they want that microwave success and not wait upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So therefore, they will lose their way, meaning their integrity. In order to make some Federal Reserve notes, that's going to be taken off the financial market very soon. So as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. And that's because favor is being shown unto the wicked. Verse 28, they are waxing fat, they shine, and two-thirds of our people are not shiny or being illuminated in righteousness. And it says, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. And the main wicked, according to the Holy Bible, is referring to Esau Edom. So they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper and the right of the needy do they not judge. And this also proves how you have these false leaders amongst our people, you know, these false gatekeepers, they are not covering topics like this. And if they do, then they will hold it in high regard, not condemning this black culture which is a lifestyle of death. So right here in Romans 1 and 25, it says, who changed the truth of Yahweh by Hashem into a lie? And that's the God of this world, Esau Edom. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever a month. Verse 26, for this cause, Yahweh by Hashem gave them up unto vile affections. And that's exactly why this Jake amongst many others have that perverse spirit. And that's because ultimately, Yahweh Bashim al gave them unto those strong delusions. For even their women did change their natural use into their wishes against nature. Verse 27, and likewise also the men, for example, this Jake Lil Wap, which blatantly stated is film boy season. And a film boy again is a biological male whose appearance or behavior traits or characteristics are regarded as very feminine. So according to Romans 1 and 27, it says, And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lusts one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And that recompense or that payback goes unto that judgment Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah gives when you have the men of our nation involving themselves into these homo acts. And before it was called AIDS, this immune deficiency disease was known as GRID, G-R-I-D, which means gay-related immune deficiency. So that's that recompense of that error, which was meat. And that ultimate recompense is going to be those nuclear missiles. Because again, this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. And once you go into the word Sodom, it goes into burning. Like for example, look how this Jake Lil Wap was Bernie and his lust when he was describing what he looked for in a man. And look how these Americans are Bernie in their debauchery and their sins. So you can rest assured that Yahweh Bashim al is going to take this place, America, from off the face of the map. And that takes me to 2 Peter 3 and 10. And it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the wish the heavens should pass away with a great noise. And that great noise is going to when those nuclear missiles make contact upon this land. It's stated in the book of Haggai, the second chapter, in the sixth verse, how I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. So the only type of instrument can fulfill this prophecy in today's time can only be those nuclear missiles, which is also described as the waster to destroy. And it says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and a part of the elements going into these wicked people, these undesirables. The earth also and the works that are therein should be burnt up. 
And your works goes into your actions, like the fruit of your doings or your labors. So within this grace period that Yahweh Ba'ashim Shah gave us as a nation of Israel in these last days, you are witnessing how two thirds of our people in the nunning let across the four corners of the world are offering up these wicked sacrifices. And that's why it says right here in Isaiah 3 and 8, for Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is falling. So going back to Isaiah, the first chapter again, it says how the whole head is sick. So therefore the whole nation of the 12 tribes of Israel, except for the hopefully let that Yahweh by Shema has gave that gift of the Holy Spirit. Because their tongue and their doings, the fruit of their doings, are against the Lord Yahweh to provoke the eyes of his glory. Verse 9, the show of their countenance do witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. And this is a prime example of the show of their countenance do witness against them. This rapper Lil Wap, as you can see, he's wearing lipstick which is something that pertains to a woman. So according to Isaiah 3 and 9, woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Verse 10, say ye to the righteous, that it should be well with him, for they should eat the fruit of their doings. And that takes me right to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 16. As for the children of adulterers, they should not come to their perfection which fully means coming into this vibration of Yahweh Ba'a Shema Shah via the understanding. And the seed of an unrighteous bed should be rooted out. Verse 17, For though they live long, yet should they be nothing regarded, and their last age should be without honor. Verse 18, Or if they die quickly, they have no hope, neither comfort in the day of trial. A.K.A. the times of Jacob's trouble. Verse 19, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. And this is how two thirds of our people within America have rewarded evil unto themselves. And they should eat the fruit of their doings. And that's by the harsh and swift judgments Yahweh Bashim is going to bring upon them in these latter days. So, Abaratazat, you always edify, you all stay strong, keep pushing forward. Shalom. Yeah. Who, who was the first person that you told that uh, you were bisexual? Shit, yeah, nobody. I don't even talk to people. I'm, I'm a private, I'm a private motherfucker. I don't tell nobody my business. I, I told yeah. the internet, so that's when the whole world found out. Yeah, I don't be telling my business to nobody.